What's up everyone? Welcome back or welcome to it. Like I said in the last video, I ended up getting a new table in my room and today I'm going to be using that as an unboxing table. Yesterday and the day before, I got a few packages that came in the mail and I'm still missing one of them so there should be a video on that sometime soon but for now we've got these ones. So first up, I'll just do a quick unboxing of this one. I actually got a video light and the first thing we have is like a little it's like a little tripod thing for it they actually fold out and you can sit that down like that like a tripod or you can use it as an actual handle as well but now we have the actual light So the actual light itself is actually is actually pretty big. Like that's my hand on top of it, so it's pretty big. I'll have the link in the description for all these products that I got, but if you happen to get this light, just letting you know that it doesn't come with a power cord for that there, or it doesn't come with a battery as well. So all you end up getting is the actual light itself, but I didn't know that, so I had to go ahead and buy a power cord separate to go with it. So for the next thing, I ended up getting just this little phone stand. I've wanted one of these for a long time now, but since I'm getting the iPhone 11 for Christmas now, I might be getting like a dock sort of, like a wireless charger to go with it, but I'm not too sure yet, but I have this anyway. So, you can adjust it like that, you can put it on any angle you like, that just clips in there like that. And I actually don't have my phone to show you guys because up above I have my camera on my phone filming. But yeah, that can be thrown in there anywhere I might even throw that in my camera bag if I'm going away somewhere or traveling but it's really handy and it's actually pretty grippy like there's grips on there and there's a grip across here so your phone doesn't slip as well but yeah that's about it for the phone stand and for the next product I ended up getting the microphone boom arm I'll have to get some more shots and show you guys again but I've just got it clipped on my desk here and it's angled up above and that's how I'm getting the top down shots with my phone I've just got my Manfrotto phone holder whatever you want to call it I've just got that clamped in with my phone and it's just a ball head on the actual microphone stand you can end up taking the ball head off and I have the mic on top of my camera but I can also put that on there and it ended up coming with a phone holder with it but I didn't trust this one too much so I ended up using my Manfrotto one out of my camera bag but yeah this is the box for it it came pretty beat up but that's all right the microphone stand itself was all in good condition as you can see there that's the clamp it ends up just clipping on the desk it's got foam and everything to protect it, like this is a brand new desk I've got here that I'm using for the unboxing videos for you guys, but it's not going to hurt the desk anytime soon, which is a good thing, so I'll be able to do these videos for a long time. But yeah, you can angle the arm however you want, and you can extend it around and lift it up and down and everything. You can put pretty much anything on it now that it's got a ball head, but yeah. What's up everyone? I'm just about halfway through editing this video, and the ND filter turned up in the mail so I'm gonna do a quick unbox. It's pretty much just a little plastic box so if you open that up there's just a little bit of paper and then the actual filter itself. So here's the actual ND filter. It's a circular ND filter so that means you can actually spin it and it gets darker like that darker and lighter. If you guys don't know, an ND filter is pretty much just a pair of sunglasses for the camera, but 
This one's a circular ND filter, which means you can just adjust it like that. This one ranges from ND2 to ND400, which is really, really dark, and I don't even think I'll need to use it that dark, but it's good to have that option anyway. I might use it on ND2 every now and then, which is just that one there. Makes it a little bit darker, and it brings out more colours and everything like that. I'm only going to keep this in my camera bag and only use it when I really need to because I'm going to keep the UV filter on that camera just to protect the lens and everything. But yeah, I'm going to throw this in my camera bag and probably give it a quick clean and stuff like that. And then I'll have to test it out for a new video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and turn on the bell and I'll see you in the next video.